Good morning and happy Friday, DP. I'm Dallas Flannery filling in for Colleen Murphy. And as always, I'm Nate Lara. Now say you took us down in your seat. And DP News starts now. Today is the final on-time registration for the SAT. Anytime after today, you'll be charged a whopping $40, and the date of the SAT is March 8th, so be sure to sign up. Clubs meeting today are Anime and Manga Club in S2, Chess Club in H15, FSEA in S2, Good Humor Club in H13, and Improv Club is meeting at the Greek from 6 to 10 8 p.m. Do you need assistance filling out FAFSA or DREAM Act applications? Help is available on Monday, February 24th from 3 to 6 in the library in the Dell Lab. Uh, please bring your parents' tax returns from either 2012 or 2013. You will need this financial information to complete your application. Cal Soap is sponsoring a financial aid workshop on Tuesday, February 25th in the DPHS library. If you need assistance completing your FAFSA application, join the Cal Soap reps on Tuesday evening from 5 to 8 p.m. in the Dell Lab in the library. NHS forms are due March 5th to the business office if you want to earn your National Honor Society credit. Fees can be paid through DP Web Store. Speaking of the web store, you can buy your 2014 yearbook, pay for AP tests, buy graduation DVDs, or much more, all online at the DP web store. On Saturday, February 8th, math students from our high schools participated in the 27th annual Westmont College Math Competition. More than 100 mathematicians from public and private schools signed up for the event. DP took first place from grades 11 through 12. Teams had 90 minutes to, so to solve five questions written in the exam. Team members Andrew Dutcher, Brian Sue, Mark Raphael, and Adam Dye. The coach was Travis Bauer. Congratulations, mathletes. Google is hosting an art contest with the theme, If I Can Invent One Thing to Make the World a Better Place. They're offering a $30,000 college scholarship as well as a $50,000 college for education technology grant for the winner's school. There is more information if you go to google.com and click on the phrase beneath the search bar. Attention AP students, if you have not yet picked up your registration materials for this year's AP exams, please go see Mr. Woodard in the office. Uh, payments and registration forms will be collected today from your very first AP class. Be sure to drop them off to Ms. Mills or Mr. Woodard's office. Dope to Dope contest winners were announced. Here's a video from you seen on more. Hosted in December, the St. Ope to Dope local writing contest is to encourage young teens to create an anti-drug message. Write a poem, lyrics, or song about negative effects on drug use. Here are your DP winners. I'm sick of these gimme kiddies, black cat killer, a cat nap. Honorable mention in music. And get you shaking, not able to say the word cool whip. Hey, yo, that's a cool whip. Too bad you didn't buy it, you stupid. Honorable mention in writing. Congrats to all our winners. By the way, we, the DP News team, still has our silent auction going on. Please, if you or uh, your parents are interested in any of our items, please go check them out. They're discounted items. So, um, again, if you are interested, please go to dpnews.org. Well, Chargers, that's all the news we have for you today. Thanks for listening. Have an awesome weekend. Now over to John Herrera with the sports. Last night, our boys' Chargers soccer team had their first playoff game here against Chino Hills. Sophomore Jesse Jimenez connected with junior Tim Hajduk twice in the air to put the Chargers past Chino Hills 2-1. The goals were both offset pieces, on one on a corner kick in the 47th minute and another off a free kick about 40 yards out. The Chargers play Palos Verdes in the next round on Tuesday. Good luck, boys. Well, that's all the sports news I have for you. I'm John from DP News. Have a good weekend, DP.